Hello friends. Okay. Uh, this is a follow-up video for um, something I did which featured this product just a little while ago. This is the um, it's Kaluba cable. I got it for it's 89 bucks and um, this is the female panel mount with the Cat5 split. Now you guys were asking me if I was getting the mail and well here's the mail. Now there's something interesting here besides it being mailed with the same Cat5 there's also a, a ground lift. You can see that and um i think it works across all four channels at the time all right now excuse the setup this is not what so i just set this up as a test so i could demonstrate something to you guys what i'm going to show you guys it's going to be um um testing all of the functions that these things are able to do at the same time pretty much not that this is going to be a real world environment but you get the idea so what i have is this is a Kemper. Kemper is a profile in a Mod 5 digital guitar. And there's two channels coming off of the Kemper. The two channels that are coming off of the Kemper would be coming off of here. So I'm using bank B of the top inputs. And this would be going out into the console over there. All right. So this would be coming from the camper it means I've got two free channels there again now what's happening is the camper is actually connected with one of these cat boxes you know what? I'll show you I'll show you over there that with one of those cat boxes back there all right now so using two channels of the cat box brings it into here this is the condenser microphone which is that guy right over there the blue and that's all going down a single cable cat five into the Midas and the Midas is connected with a bunch of these as well okay so that's our input I could probably just test it around here and you'd see we got a signal there we go and the same thing with the camper now these boxes are all we also able to um, pass a yes so I'm taking an a yes output to test out of the Midas and that's coming here it's going down the cat snake into this box and to, just for testing and um, I'll give you a practical use after that and it's going out into that and, then to, and there you see digital and to make sure you see this tells you that it's in sync this is a midi man flying cow and what it does it converts uh, AES EBU and SPDIF into analog so if I take this off, you should see the sync light. Keep your eyes on the where's it? sync light right there. There you go. And put it in again. And there's our sync. So it's passing AVS, AES, ABU. Uh, practical use for something like this. Now, because we can go long distances, like in my case, I would take it into the crowd and I would run the output digitally to the that 360 camera over there okay so we got analog audio from the camper with two different sources coming in and then going down to one cable we'll condense the microphone so we got phantom power at the same time we've got a yes ebu for a camera feed and whatever now just for fun just to prove this i took the foot switch of the camper now the camper um takes its foot switch control from down there and that's the card 5 connector and I put that connection I jump it around I'm sorry into here and I just jump from here into the back of the camper just to make sure it still passes that signal as well the back of the camp I, I could have used a locking color but the back of the camper uses this non-locking type of stuff and um, a lot of people have been complaining about these units where the back the um, the connector wears off so you could probably use something like this keep it in and then you're constantly working with a, a much more stable connection so here, let's go again we got two signals from the camper one one from a condenser microphone going to the board we got aes coming back from the board down to the aes converter we've got the foot switch controller coming from the camper into the other one down at the bottom into the camper these are just tests so another function this thing also does dmx all right so i got dmx coming from software of the mac and um this is the uh, dmx coming in 
and I'm taking DMX down this cat five, the green one, and it's going down there into that cat box, and I just popped it into that cable, right? So let's and I'm triggering DMX from the console over here, right? So great. So that's pretty much it. So what makes this one different from the top one is male connectors and there's a ground lift that works across all four at the same time. Now you can also jump from here and here and you can do a whole bunch of spider stuff and just get audio back and forth. Pay attention to your um, impedance and loading and stuff because these are all passive units. Um, there are affiliate links down in the description, you know, it, it, it always helps me out to make more videos like this if you guys work with the links, right? So you guys rock on and thank you.